Oh my god, guys, I am nudie. <laughs> That's views right there. <laughs> hey all, welcome to my channel, I'm Mariam. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you this eye look using the one and only Nudie Patootie palette by my girl, Laura Lee, and her brand, Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is a palette that everyone has been talking about lately, and I know you have a lot of questions. So, I created this tutorial for you, but I also took it a step further. I actually flew to LA, I knocked on Laura Lee's door, I went to her house, we had some beers, and I asked her all the tough questions that you wanna know about nudie patootie. So, if you like this look, if you wanna hear Laura's answers to my tough questions, then keep on watching. Hey! And if you are subscribed to Mary, what are you doing? Give the video a thumbs up, because I have brownie in my mouth. Yes! <laughs> and let's get to this tutorial. <laughs> Probably your best intro ever. ever. Let's talk about Nudie Patootie. It retails for $45. You can get it at lauraleelosangeles.com. You can also get it at morphebrushes.com. I believe you can get it at a couple of other websites such as Beauty Bay, for those of you who are in the UK. It costs a little bit more there, but still, I think this is an amazing deal for 14 shadows. There's about seven matte shades, five shimmery shades, and there are two foil shades. Off the bat, I think these shades are so much more than nude. There's so much variety in these nudes. There's definitely a good mixture between mattes and shimmery shades, as well as different textures of shimmery. I like the fact that there's cool versus warm. There's also some taupes, some ochres. There's a pink shade. There's just a little bit of everything for everyone. Very sturdy, very current but very sleek palette. I love the huge mirror. I'm drawn to this. Let's get to it. First shade that I'm gonna pick up is this one, Undressed. I love the fact that the shade names are right under the shadow. Ooh, this is pigmented, honey. This is a very nice pale ochre sort of shade. I'm gonna use it for my transition, just to sort of cut out, carve out my crease and add some definition to my eye. Not really sure what look I'm going for yet, but I want to do something extra. I want to do a nudie look that's good for going out, that's good for prom, that's good for a special occasion. Just want to do more. Can we talk about how obsessed we are with the name Nudie Patootie? I wish it was my idea. I wish I came up with this idea, Laura Lee. How did you do this? How did you come up with this brilliant idea of a Nudie Patootie palette? I love it. Let's ask Laura Lee. Uh, okay, so it is a Laura Lee, Nudie Patootie is a Laura Lee language. So you know that's how I talk. Everybody gets a nickname, Cutie Patootie. I'm a Cutie You're Patootie. You're a little hottie. You're like, Cutie Patootie, never, yes. I can never just talk. I have to put another word with it. So it's my language, and I feel like it's very on brand for Laura Lee. So Nudie that's Patootie. Right. I'm gonna call it just a nude palette. It's very Laura Lee to say Nudie Patootie. I'm gonna use the same shadow, and I'm gonna apply it right under my lower lash line. Also, I'm not liking my concealer game today. I feel like the shadow is lighter than my concealer. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit more down just to disguise. Next, I'm gonna pick up this shade here called Strip. Very appropriate for this palette, Laura Lee. Is this a fun pastime that you and Tyler like to partake in? Hmm. Who wins at strip poker? You or Ty? <laughs> <laughs> Ty, for sure, and that's honesty. <gasps> I love Laura Lee and I love Tyler. They are so much fun, so normal and so down to earth. They're really good people. I'm just thrilled that we met and that I can call them my friends. I love that Southern flair that they have. And I love the fact that they like to make fun of themselves. That's like my favorite thing about Laura and Tyler. I love the fact that they're just goofballs and they like to have a good time. They don't take themselves too seriously. This palette though is a serious palette. I'm liking the shade strip. If you're an olive skin tone like Laura, this is just the perfect transitional shade for your eyes. I just realized I'm committing a crime. I am doing a Laura Lee Los Angeles palette review and I don't have a beer around me. How dare I? I'm sorry, Laura. I think we ran out of beer. That is looking real good, girl use that same little brush and I'm gonna add just a little bit more definition to my lower lash line. So next I wanna use this uh, shade Stark. 
really pretty satin sort of shimmer white. I'm gonna pick it up on uh, this tart brush here. The stamp in that inner corner. I'm also gonna add it to my brow bone just to sort of highlight. I wanna add this to the nose and like right here. Oh, kind of like that. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this color. Ooh, this one feels so velvety. What? I wasn't even planning on using my finger, but I think I just wanna stamp it here because I don't wanna waste this pigment. It's so nice. And I still have enough color to stamp it on the other side. All right, I'm gonna blend this one out and it layers really nicely too. I'm just barely touching my lid, I'm adding a little bit of that exposed to gently blend out the brown with the ochre. I feel like this is already a look. And now I think I wanna add just a little bit of this buff right here. Just wanna apply it real close to my lashes. Next I wanna pick up a little bit of topless cause you know, that's what I am right now. Topless. Were you nude in the photo shoot? I wasn't actually, well, but right. I don't have a problem being nude. Oh, don't. All. So. If it needed shouldn't. to be, I would. It's for the art of the makeup, but I did have on a little shirt. And I want to apply it to the center of my lid. This is so pretty. Wow. This is a true rose gold. Very flattering on my skin tone and with my eye color. And I really like how it plays with the rest of the shadows. Probably don't need to apply with a finger like I am right now, but I just want to test out this palette in many different ways. I want to apply these shadows with the finger, with the brush, with a wet brush. I, think I want to do a little bit of this one on the center of the lid. Just like that for a little bit of a pop. And now I want to get to those foil shadows. I am ready to swatch. Wow. Do you see what I see? Oh my God. Oh my God. Duh. I said I'm gonna use Jaybird, so I'm gonna use Jaybird. I'm gonna scrape up a little bit of this shadow. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. This one is set to be used with a wet brush. I have Inglot Duraline right here. Add just a little bit of that to the back of my hand. Duraline makes any eyeshadow into a liquid liner. I'm gonna create a little mixture right here on the back of my hand. And using the Sigma Winged Liner Brush, I am going to line my top lash line with this newly created Jailbird liner. Wow, wow, wow. You probably don't even need the Dura line because this shadow is so super soft. As is, you could probably just use a little bit of water. I think this might be my favorite eyeshadow from the palette. Let's ask Laura Lee what her favorite is. It's a big shade. Bear, pick a shade. Probably bare or all natural. Mine is Jaybird. Of course, honey. Mm -hmm. She likes the foiled. She likes the wing, the foiled wing. It's You'll beautiful. see. You know what else? I want to put a little bit of this Jailbird right here in the inner corner. I just have a little bit left over on both sides of this brush. I think it'll look really cute here. Just for a little sparkle. So I'm gonna do one more thing to make this liner stand out. I'm gonna outline it with this Lancome Grandiose. And now let's add some lashes and lips and highlighter to this look and let's see what we come up with. Ooh, I'm using this MAC Whisper of Guild highlighter, which they just brought back. They resurrected it and I am very happy. Ooh, and let's put some highlighter on the shoulders. Let's do a little shoulder shimmy, why not? Put some on the chest as well, the collarbone. It's just asking for it. Go for it. It Cosmetics, your lips but better. Blushing nude lip liner all over the entire lip area. Next, let's go for Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Sugar Mama. It's a really, really beautiful nude. For lashes, Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara first and then Huda Beauty Fair Lashes. Love these, love, 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 they are Fantastic. What's next for Laura Lee Los Angeles? We got more coming. What's coming? Wiggle the lipstick Spill drop some at the tea. end of May. Ooh. Eyeliners are coming. End of May. And we have too many things coming. That's an exclusive, but I'm not telling you what. Mmm. Give us a little hint, hands. Mm -hmm. Little minis. Oh, you they heard contradict right each other, maybe. <gasps> That's what I'm telling you, though. Dun, dun, dun. All right, here we have it. Here is the nudie patootie look. Decided to keep the hair as is because I like it like that. What do you think, Laura Lee? Did I make you proud? Guys, what do you think of this look? What do you think of the Nudie Patootie palette? Will you be purchasing it? 
$45, 14 shades, that ain't bad in my opinion. I would highly, highly, highly recommend this palette. I think she's a keeper and I'm gonna continue using her. I think even if you're not a lover of neutrals or nudes, you could still find some shades in here that will suit your taste because there's a lot going on here. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos right here. Go ahead, click on it, I dare you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Oh wait, I'm actually not nudie after all. Ah, got you.